ومن يلي فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا نبينا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه ومن تبعه باحسان الى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I will speak more English and inshallah I will do some Yoruba in between. Ya mo diri pe kesem ni kani to kita la be to wa bi. To ri pe da ri pe awo wa si. On ka lu ko dokuta la bere ni. Ta ba se jama do ni. A bere na la lu. La ge Rudwana alima pirawani dokita ala bere. Ta ru ni lighter notes. I want to thank the organizers of. I want to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has made today possible and for his blessings upon us. At the same time, I thank all the organizers of this event. May Allah reward us all abundantly. I have many of my teachers around here, starting from my father that is right beside me, and so many others around the audience. So I want to believe them very much at home. Alhamdulillah. So, not to take so much time. Within the time that has been allocated for this topic, we will go through the context and contents of orthodox medical practice. So briefly, I'll just explain some terminologies. We say that elucidation, just when we say to elucidate, what we briefly mean is just to explain. I will not take so much time on that. The context, just the circumstances of what has really brought about something. And when we talk about the content, talk about the components of what those things entail. But we say that orthodox. There are so many definitions that can be used for orthodox. But basically, we say it's to just follow a laid down principle. But we realize that when we say orthodox, it's something that actually was brought by who those that we call the missionaries. You now we talk about orthodox church. So, and with this, we understand that today, when we talk about orthodox medical practice, we are actually emphasizing more on the Western medicine. So that's what we can just understand about orthodox medical practice. And that, for us to understand this, we need to understand some history about medical practice itself. Just like we all know, I'm sure everyone of us knows that when we talk about medicine, medical practice is as old as life itself. As we are born, the body system, the way Allah has created the body system, is such that it has a way in which it functions, and when it does not function optimally, then there will be some issues with it. And that's why we know when we go through the history, we hear about diseases. Even the past prophets of Islam you know those that have diseases that by way of prayers and some other means Allah cured them of diseases. So initially, we say medical practice started as a combination of 
magic and witchcraft. That's the way it has been at least analyzed. Magic and witchcraft. One thing that I will add to this is also prayers. The only thing is that when we talk about witchcraft, you know, the way it's explained is that it's a way of invoking some gods, invoking some deities so that we get cure for some ailments. So but I think it should be separated. When we talk about spiritual means, that's calling unto God, not God this time around. A step out of medical practice in the past. And this has been practiced by as far, far back as when we did not know. The Babylonian area, era, it, uh, it was recorded that the orthodox medical practice that we call today, that is, that started then. Why we say it's orthodox is because they are laid down, laid down, just like I said. And so it was traced during the Babylonian era, you know, during the era of, of the past kings, especially the Persia. You know, civilization initially was said to have started from Persia, then later we had the Roman Empire before the Islamic civilization came. Now, the Babylonian era, this period, it was recorded that there were codes that is described as the Amurabi law. That was prescribed by the king then. And it is for the doctors that were available then that if they practice this well, then they are going to be rewarded in terms of payment for their service. And whoever fails to follow this law of practice, in terms of treating people, then they, are, they were punished. So you can see that there were laid down rules in terms of what we call orthodox practice. It has been practiced as far, far back as the early centuries. So the, many ancient books also recorded this. And we have the Egyptians that were able to even bring about a, an encyclopedia that was devoted solely to medical science. But when we talk about the practice that we have today, it, uh, it has been traced to just the Greeks. It is the Greek civilization. They were the ones that have been found to have been able to separate the medical practice from spiritual as well as witchcraft of magic. It is the Greek civilization that was able to, that was traced to have done this. And that's who the Hippocrates. You know, when we talk about medicine today, for any medical doctor to be initiated into the medical profession, he has to uh, swear by the Hippocratic oath. Because Hippocrates, of course, is described as the father of medicine. He was the first person that was able to separate medical practice. He was able to prove that he was able to prove that medicine, illness, diseases, is not as a result of punishment by God. That's according to him. That is not because Allah, or it's not because some gods are angry with people. That's why they are bringing illness. As we go along with this topic, we understand the context and the content, and then we are going to summarize it at the end of the day. I'm going to strictly talk based on the orthodox medical practice. So he was able to bring this that it's not, it's not because, you know today, there are so many issues even surrounding the current mysterious outlet. Is it, is it, is it mysterious again now? Coronavirus that we have today. You know, there are so many theories behind it. Person has fever, the body is hot. Then something is actually wrong with the whole system, rather than just a part of the system. So we will say, as it is, we may try to look, it, look at it like, okay, the course, maybe they are the general practitioners, and then the Indians are the specialists. But it's not actually like that. So as it went on, the medicine, at that time, okay, I've talked about the fact that they don't understand that there was nothing about anatomy. Nobody knows the internal organs. However, later, 
Then when Aristotle came, that's just like the next century, just after the Hippocrates. Then by that time, they were, they've relaxed the laws. So based on that, he was able to do so many dissections and they were able to look at the body and how it worked. And so today, at least most of the breakthroughs that are now in medicine is as a result of all these studies on human beings. And that's why we're able to know that, okay, because, you know, human cannot be related or compared with the animal. They may have the same name by organs, but it's not the same way that they function. So, the Middle Ages, that's, you know, these are the earlier centuries. I want to talk about Aristotle and the Hippocrates. But the Middle Ages, we will say so nothing little happened within this period. But with the beam of knowledge that was kept alight in the Islamic world, you know what happened earlier? The Greek, the Romans, they're the ones that were controlling. But later, Islamic civilization came. And based on this, surely with the conquest of Spain, Andalus, with this, they were able to preserve so many literature. And then they were able to retain the hold of medical knowledge. And that's why we have the works of the Islamic scholars, Ibn Sina, Ibn Ak, and so on like that. But later too, there was a great plaque. This one happened, when we talk about great plaque, it's just a disease on its own. It's just a disease, because just like we have the, the coronavirus that started from, where is it, from China today. That time too, there was a disease also started from Asia and spread around the world. And this they killed so many people. So many books were also lost along with this. So this was a setback that was in the Middle Ages. So when we look at it, earlier medical practice, look at what is happening. Initially, what we just do, because they don't know the anatomy, what we just do is more like, okay, this is a disease. I have a swelling on the leg. Ah, this leg cannot go. Just like the biblical, when, when this place is disease, what do you do? Cut it away. So that's what they were doing then. And we're now relating, the same thing was happening in the dark, uh, the so-called black continent, as Africa, the way we practice medicine. This slide is very important because we can see how they started from Asia, the Western world generally, how they started and how we were in Africa. Now, with advancements in knowledge, there were so many more discoveries that were made, such that by the 17th century, we have the understanding of the blood circulation that was discovered. So with that, we're able to establish that, okay, the blood rotates, the blood flows through the whole body. The blood that is in the brain is the same one that is in the leg. So anything that happens within this part of the body, then it's going to affect another part of the body. So that means diseases are not isolated to any, just one particular one. That was the first breakthrough that was made. Then with time two, there was the discovery of the magic drug, quinine. Quinine was discovered actually in the treatment. Because today, it's about Wilson, Alki Malaria, they book up about one Nigeria alone. Most times. Two, two, one Nigeria. By the time everybody in Nigeria, give that person two, three weeks. You will break down with malaria. Go on in malaria, they care. And the meek and the ones that ever were malaria parasites, then they are only calculated. But the white man will break down and have severe malaria. They will not break down because severe malaria alone. Quinine is not even obsolete. You don't use quinine again. So, but then, Kuni was the magic drug. That's to tell you that you go go to the world of the It started, Kuni was discovered in South, in South America from the Sincona tree. And we have none of our medication. Today is now a drug that we are using. So it was discovered. Then with time, by the time the microscope was discovered, Kilo Shelly, we realized that, okay, oh, there are some organisms, some microorganisms, come out to your body. These are the ones that are actually responsible for this disease. 
and this also helped in the subsequent centuries. More, more drugs were discovered, such that by 19th century, they were able to establish relationship between germs and one kokoroi, and then the diseases that they are, they are causing. The first was tuberculosis. Tuberculosis destroyed a large part of the world's population. Today, tuberculosis is now an African disease. Look at the eyes of one. I read from and our problems. The same thing with the, um, the person that discovered the germ that was responsible for some other illnesses. He was able to do that. When we talk about pasteurization today, we realize that about being mixed color, that being color, they keep it at a particular temperature. What do you do? going to ferment. The river of Kokoro said to sip it. Once they said to, then the milk will spoil. It becomes sour. So the Louis Pasteur was able to realize, to discover that there are some germs in the atmosphere that you need to kill, and that brings about the concept of disinfection, um, sterilization, and so on. So sanitary exercise. So the advancement that came with it is, oh, there are diseases. Then we have to be careful. There was surgery that's not too much in time. They just cut. Nobody caters for, okay, but we to manage infection, but we to manage wound here. They don't manage it. So most people that end up with amputation die not because of the procedure that was, not because of the disease, don't you want to but of the procedure, do she? Because they got infected and then nobody could manage those infections. But with, by the 19th century, antibiotics came and the drugs were used to manage the post-op infections. So with time, we had some other discoveries, and what we have today is even now beyond drugs. What we have today, we now have genetic engineering, gene therapy. We can now map out even the locus that is responsible in the making of an individual. We in to who are responsible for gun in the genome. A little clear the three to one module is what we call simple cell disease. I want to tell you a secular group that has been discovered just the chromosomal abnormality. Just a what we call a uh, kilorukin base pair, just one can change instead of KA1 become what they did. Instead of one amino acid to be somewhere, it's just another amino acid, but not a shape. And it's at the molecular level, and this was discovered. When you the sickle cell disease was discovered in 1910. And that's to tell you, it's even more than 100 years now. That's around 110 years ago. Today now, we, are, we have so many advancements. The same thing with reproduction. They can now produce a complete new human being. Tell it, tell it, IVF, Lama. But IVF has even gone beyond. IVF, they become bigger than so by this stage, you can't be part of the only been. That's IVF. But today, science has gone that you can now bring out a whole individual, bring the sperm and the, um, the egg of the mother, and then fertilize it in vitro outside. Oh my, you're the guy now outside. I watched a video of it that's just last week. It's and the way it was structured is that one simulates the womb can go for a temperature to your come on your water gun. I'm not if we don't meet on where you know yeah they brought it there. She won't me she will have a chemical don't make up I'm not if we don't want to go to the then the thing about it she be scan a woman for me I'm going to educate that so so is is now the, because it's in a computerized environment. Then once you get there, the battery will be computer. You might read every every minute, don't read. This thing is down at seven weeks, so so minutes, so so hours, so so seconds. The only thing they have not been able to do is that. That child, eh, they fertilize and then go see that they don't. So they still take the nine months. But we we'll look at we are looking at the context. We'll look at the content, what brought up all this, the content, and we'll see the fallouts and the challenges that all this can cause. Now, compare this picture with the previous one. The previous one, this is this. They started cutting the leg with the white. That's the slide on the left. 
and look at us. And now, medicine has transformed to this stage. If we look at it, we can see. We will see that. Look at the, this machine here. This is just like a TV. But what it does is more like that. With this, you can look at X-rays, see distance, and some other reality investigations. With this, this doctor can have updates on this patient. With this, samples that were taken from this table can be sent, and before you finish the surgery, you will have seen the results. But today, the same medical practice that started at that level, this is still where we are. It's still the same. And I think I read something like that on this table when I came. No, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the arrangements. I'm not talking about the knowledge of this. I'm talking about the setting. It's the setting I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what the context is. So it's not to disparage, it's the system that we have currently. Now, in general, when we talk about approaches to health, there are just five ways that we go about health, health management. The supernatural approach, you know that way it started. Some people believe that everything we know that Allah is responsible for everything. But some people believe that even with illness, when one is ill, you cannot do anything except to pray to get healed without having any other interventions, physical interventions. That is a natural approach. Health of both populations and individuals beyond the control of others. This was the way it actually started. Now, the public health approach, this one emphasizes that every one of us, we are responsible for one another. Once one person is ill, it can affect another person. Last week, I'm sure they went to schools giving people polio vaccine, the under fives. Now, the government went to school giving polio, polio vaccine. It's not as if, no, if they are vaccine, they are getting it. I don't know either way, at least everybody will receive vaccine from birth to nine months when they took their certificates. But realize that some days work on here and the vaccine calculate. They call it the NIDs, National Immunization Days. It's just to mop up, it's mop up vaccination. It's because the strains, we have the oral polio, the wild type. Today, Nigeria has been certified free. Free from what? The wild type. That's just what we have. It's not as if there cannot be some pockets. What we are targeting is just to mop up the wild type of like, the, the polio virus. So now they are going about. The fact remains that polio is shed in stool. So to be in what who are contaminated by in food or what they take, it will affect other individuals. So that's the public health approach. So the fact that somebody is immunized, it has is not is not all of them that is lifelong immunity. So that's why we still mop up. That's one. The mop up is also, I want me to there are missed opportunities. Some people don't bury one party for some reasons. So that one yeah, they are risk to others. So that's the essence. So but we don't know who missed or who did not miss. That's why we just do for everybody. So that has been what you are thinking, they just continue to eat currently. It will still continue. That's for oral money. So the public health approach, that's that. Individual health approach, focus on the individual health condition. Just like the Indian theory. So that's another approach. Then the self-limiting disease. Mizus. Whether you do something or not to Mizus, and you won't do Mizus is, a, is what I always call a, a good example. It's a self-limiting disease. Among the only rash, 
what in the timetable? I'm on the fever by seventh day. Don't matter about it. Don't know. Just about it. Don't know. 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 Don't come on the car go but time to transmit that to ko ren lo mi ni da to tin ra re tin do na to tin se kata o ti ko ren lo mi so o ti tin so once the rash appears that's the end then it will take another one way and the child is okay and the good thing about mizus ni pe to mo yin o ba ja mizus vaccine tele bo se ni mizus yen cannot have mizus again ko da ko mo ja vaccine cause the infection is the first the infection confers immunity. But when you do my the only thing, the good the only thing about measles is I want symptoms I'm not six months, between six months and five years. I'm a febrile conversion. Tara Badona was a gift. Hello, me walk at town, to be to manage it, and come to now infection may be taken for one no touching you there. I uncle Coromio I walk. Someone you know man told you lost too. As I get to my lost hospital too. Because in two of them, oh yeah, take care, but you need chest infection, what take care of me. Somebody passed them off from we are a big donor. Calamin lotion, to repay you new. Because think I can't get you at the grass. So this that's so that is self-limiting disease. So oh, look at this aspect is very very important because sometimes you are coincide. Hello, me, Tori, as I told you, me, you are, you are not become. You not give him something. You are ah, magic and you lose share. So we have to understand this approach to health too. Then the treatment approach to illness. That the treatment approach that one has to do with okay, try some ibawa, arabibionani, telephone parastamo, abi. Adru, because that that now the common thing, which also has its fallout. The common thing now is oh, kilo she urine for a feeling, boy urine, boya which is stress are Most times the doctor waits until that they say ah, they lay you to 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 bam out to bring the stomach down to anya. I be sorry, the patient wait for anya to see hospital. You are the medical treatment. This also has its fallout. So all of this, the best is ama an amalgamation of all this. You cannot say, yeah, no, everything is spiritual. Around you, me. No, ah. No. What I pay, kilo, I want to call you, I want to call you, I want to call you, I want to call I'm a low responsible. I'll be by by me. So we cannot do that. The public health approach is also good. That is to bury your car, then it's a risk for every other person. Currently now, kilo wanta, yellow fever. There's an outbreak of yellow fever in Nigeria today. I want to report a lot of it. It's um three states currently. So now you see, that's where it spreads. And I've used that too. About one thing, I'll be, anyway, I'm not going to details about Corona, so I will not die back. Um, will, not, will not digress. Now, the context, as the main thing, and the myth, the basis of orthodox medicine. Now, with all this background that I've mentioned, we will know now that it's well established for that modern medicine is a transformation of the medieval, that's the old practice, or the traditional practice. That's what made what this up we need. It's just about medication, not the one that formulate, don't, don't, and so many other practices. So, apart from the divinations, that's all these, those spiritual and incantations that form the basis of the healing in the past. I will be allowed to one be down on your thing, having told you like he, like he by me. The drugs, but at the same time, the drugs that are used are mostly avarus. I've talked about that. The only problem is that the chemical compositions of these things, 
we can cut all content, especially on uh, local ones, the one B, are often unknown. And most of even these traditionalists don't are not even ready to disclose. They don't want to disclose. Perhaps when we get to the end, I will expand more on this. So, similarly, many complications result from use due to lack of concern for contamination. As this all going. By the time they prepare some concoctions, but I'm about to slide the go you realize in the first place that perhaps the container that is used are around to launch a bowler. I want to a lot of bowler. I want to really move on to a son and walk on that. The process of disinfection and all those things of those bottles, they don't take care of it very well. I don't know what I'm wrong. You can see that it's beyond the cocoa berry. Not saying mix a pack or not, is another issue. So those are some of the things that give at least made form the basis for bringing up orthodox medical practice to be able to mitigate all these problems. So diagnosis too was basically from spiritual sources. Ah, kilonshi oniwarapa onshi kirito. The next thing, what the fuck are they to make the diagnosis? I don't know the details. But I want to go out. Ah, we do wara party in Cheni. I'm a Kalobi one. Bye bye. Today, even though it's still grey, that area is still grey. Area of mental health is still grey. But today, Orthodox medicine believes at least epilepsy. Thank you, wara pa. There are causes. It's just electrical misfiring of the brain that some things have been alluded to be the cause. This is also important for us to understand. And what happened was that some epilepsies are there. They don't know the cause. That's true. But there are some ones that we call organic psychosis. Cannabis will be fine. When we already know that, at least this is so, is to address those causes. So that's why we will not discountenance orthodox medicine. At the same time, we will not push away the traditional medical practice. So most of these diagnoses, the way they diagnose spiritual means, um, some of them they don't even have diagnosis. So with that. Orthodox medical practice started. Those who were that was formed the basis or the context for orthodox medical practice. So over the years, there were now experimentation. And when we talk about experimentation, experimentation now has to do with you now find out, okay, any you this person is having fever. And we realize that okay, the nature of the fever is such that it is worse in the evening. And then by morning, and yet to say, Ah, what kind of fever is this? But well, we have a fever that is continuous. Don't go around, don't go down, don't go down. Then we now realize, oh, and when you now take this kind of drugs, it helps. Ah, so if this drug helps, then the next thing is, we now have to be sure. Is it just coincidence? Or is it that the drug can be long cause, like long, long, long curing? So that's when experimentation and comes up. You now subject it to experiments. Okay, this person has fever. This person also has fever, both of them. This person used this drug. Drug LA, use it. The same kind of fever on you. This person will give you another drug. Maybe it's similar components. But we now want to be sure. Is it the component is this in this drug that the lower responsible? And that's what has made advancements in orthodox medical practice. We don't to give of my advancement. So it's not just now to experiment, it's now to be able to produce the results. Based time to look on you. 
in Kati Resort that remain. How do we now start that? When we go to Cocos investigation, there is actually a simple example malaria parasite. One, as you test, a real malaria parasite. Oh, yeah, look, look, we need. A lay woman, look, we need. One, look, parasitamo. We now repeat the test. I think malaria parasite is cool. And it shows the malaria parasite is still there. That is simple reproducibility. And that was the challenge that Trump had with hydroxychloroquine and corona. Hydroxychloroquine, yes, some people will use it. In fact, today, anybody never have any sign of chloroquine, malaria today, no learning. Sorry, sign of corona today, hydroxychloroquine, no learning. But the fact still remains that there has not been study now to correctly say that hydroxychloroquine is what is responsible for treating corona. So until those ones come, that's when we'll answer, okay, that's when it's going to be accepted. The same thing with about Southern. The black seed oil. Yes, people used it. And they were killed. But before it will be licensed, okay, this is a drug for treatment. Then it has to be subjected to trials that will be blinded and not biased. Then based on that, the result that we now get from the house of oh, Ogun Yu is responsible for this. So those are the that's what makes autodose medicine, that's what makes it have an edge. There are so many drugs, but until you now show us in this drug tobacco for diabetes. Why I'm emphasizing this is it's so unfortunate. I had a patient. It's simple. I will call it simple because it appears so simple. Urinary tract infection, don't you? That we typically call toilet disease. But she, she test. The test showed that there was a microorganism in the urine. What they are to is sensitive to these medications, these drugs. See, look, we But, you know, when somebody comes with urinary tract infection, because we know the anatomy of the body, we know that the urine is produced by what? The kidneys. So a person that has what we call toilet disease, not just enough, look at a urine test. You look at the kidney. You do renal from kidney function test. Be sure when the kidney is not affected. So unfortunately, this boy did your renal function test at that time too. And it showed that the chemicals, some chemicals were very high in the blood. The fact that this chemical is high shows that the kidney is not functioning well. So what happened? He went back to his doctor. Unfortunately, the doctor told that person that, ah, what only can kill you? And what you do, like once you mistake, well, you will result in it. happens actually. Like once you mistake, well, you will result in it. I don't think it's your own. And the boy continued his life. A month later, he repeated the same test. The creatinine, that's the chemical, the creatinine was still high. Initially it was 200. It should not be for a child. The child is 10 years. For a child, it should not be even up to 90. It was 200 and something. So he repeated the test. It was still high. That was sometimes around June last year. So now, by the time he presented to the hospital, because you kept, you kept repeating the test, not for renal function this time around. You kept having recurrent urinary tract infection. They will treat. But instead of addressing that renal issue, so on, until December, it now came in December. That was the first time I now saw him. Mark that period. That was like six months after the first time he visited the hospital. And remember, before he even visited the hospital, he must have been having the symptoms. So, the 
presenter I saw in December, and then the next thing, I said they should repeat the test. The EU credit me. It was still like that's when I told them, see, we'll not just be treating this infection. We need to find out what is responsible. Alhamdulillah, really like the parents were educated and well to do. We had to do several investigations. They went as far as even now tech for some investigations that were not available. By and large, we're able to ascertain that it's just the kidneys that have been destroyed by the by the organism that was poorly treated. What then happened? The kidneys were gone at that data, 10 year old. And so we advised them. We started dialysis, hoping that okay, we are going to recover the kidney. But we could not. So that around February, March, told them that the child needs a kidney transplant. So we were able to at least go ahead with it. And the child is doing well. So just like I said, they are lucky. Um, the parents had the means. Kidney transplant today for an eight-year-old in Nigeria. They are going to do it in Nigeria. About eight million. Eight million. And that's just for the surgery. It doesn't include the other things that are going to be done. So it can be done in Nigeria. So now, these are some of the issues that will come when we talk about investigations. So, but just like I've said, for you to say this drug is your treatment is doing well, then you have to holistically look at the patients. You don't just treat symptoms and just collect money and go. You look at every other thing that can be responsible. So, with that, orthodox medicine, there were so many other dis discoveries. You know, a French patient was saying present with urinary tract infection. We end up doing CT scan for the kidney and realize that something is wrong. Another example I want to bring, this is talking about discoveries. Recently, there is a CMD of one teaching hospital in Nigeria. In fact, I got different stories about him. But the first one was said, because this CMD is who we call is a very conscious Muslim brother. And when he talks about sharp practices by CMDs, in fact, he has transformed the hospital in terms of, and he was able to get so many people that were cutting corners, he was able to at least send them back. So people, there are people, some people believe because of all this that some people must have seen. But the story I had is the other story I had, which looks more plausible as far as orthodox medical practice is concerned, is that the mother, the mother had an illness about two months earlier. She just fell unconscious, and by the time they, they realized the woman died. And what they realized was that she bled into the brain. That's the mother bled into the brain. Now, a few months after, the CMD started complaining of severe headache. A doctor, consultant, who complained headache. What's the number one red? Oh, no, boom. The headache is not going. The next thing, number one of the red, number one. What they now need for the Nkuma Hospital. And that was what saved me. Allah saved me. To that. What they just did was push it deeper. They just work on sedated, work on loan, and that was it. So the next thing, in the hospital, because you see facility to do CT scan. So one in large CT scan. Or at least he has connections around as a CMD of the teaching hospital. We were able to get the CT scan, machine to the hospital, and that's what the hospital is benefiting today. So they are using OSHA CT scan, they realize that he has an aneurysm. Aneurysm means the blood vessel, and blood vessel can be proper and one. He can have to our who said that. Who can bear 
So it's just for that vessel to break. And that was, it's because, because okay, what said it, uh, he woke up in India. And the Indians were even telling him that they were not the ones that saved him. It's those people that sedated him that saved his life. So these are, you know, based on that, you know, ordinarily when you are, we are looking for we are all the city scan. City scan today is 57,000 naira. Then when you are looking for we are the city scan. Now come on, we are taking commission. But look at what they could have advanced a lot of shit. And the initial phase, but the level of the land of the So when you say, okay, so discoveries, you'll be able to discover some of that is Diagnosis, yes, I've talked about this. You know, sophisticated machines are now used to make diagnosis. The other thing is now is also objective. Because if we to pay, no, 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 what is it that long So you need to be objective and tell, okay, because there was a muscle spasm. To my I lay, colleague, the abdominal colleagues, only you need something that anti spasmodic agent, you need. Look, don't have pains in muscle spasm, they are all pains. Headache is a pain. Look, there, pain, look, there. But pain in the bone is different from pain in muscles. So, and that defines what drug we use. The person of me, okay, hello, okay, hello, okay, you know, I've been in Kakan, 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 okay, it's not for pain. You are using the, the analgesic effect, that's what he wants you to get from it. Then the rationality of treatment. So, then, with that, we have specializations. Normal specialized. And we have, that's why we now have so many specialties. So, today, with all that I've said, we realize that everything I'm talking about has to do with the fact that autodesk medicine is evidence-based. You have to tell us this is what you saw and this is why this has happened. The concept of why. That's what we need. Evidence-based. That's what this slide is talking about. So, and that's the, that's the way. Before you make a medical decision, we will need to look at the clinical expertise. The person will have you use your knowledge to look at the patient and then do some investigation. That you now use the evidence or what you have read in literature to so, show, okay, so in Toba Nero fever by Tara, you do not roll, eh? Ah, malaria, and you also pay, you like it, then based on that, you now make a decision. So you have evidence to buttress your treatment. What are the contents? We have talked about it, but just Briefly look at them. The benefits is what we get based on what it entails. It is evidence based science. And that's why it's easy for somebody to sue somebody to court. We are to be by by the also a court to because we are supposed to tell this is what is happening to you and this is the treatment for you. Then there's the appropriate diagnosis. Okay, I need to, I do a CT scan, okay, but I read this what we have found in the brain. There is a swelling, there is a tumor, there is a cancer in the brain. And the only solution, whether well, there, 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 is, there is a patient recently, only cancer of the kidney. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm talking much about the kidney, that's what I uh, specialize more on. Cancer of the kidney. I was this child, two years old. The left kidney has the cancer. So pass on to our local kidney. Pastor Rere, local one more band, they buy my theory. Go look at me more. Go look a bit of a lot. That kidney is going. If you don't want it to affect the left, the right. I was okay. I want to look at the you to do so many things. So today the child is okay, doing fine. Because you can only live with one kidney, not the two kidney. So the kid eventually, how about your right kidney? It yes. can happen to, sorry, the left kidney was removed. And it's on, in fact, most of our, in fact, we still presented the case last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, two years ago, the case we presented. But there are many of them like that. 
many of them. So that's the fact that once you make appropriate diagnosis, and all of the one ability to now know, okay, this is a disease. Then based on the knowledge, all of the phone, then let's treat. So those are treatment regimen too is what the content, you know, we now know the appropriate dose. We want to treat malaria. It's not just be okay, look, but do. You want to do a makini quantity to you know, the day you told one already. So, but not to just make some part of what it entails that we know the appropriate dose for a one day old. How much to a mood, oh? Oh, my appropriate dose, it's your low compared to oh, my one week. Compared to almost so that that's what makes it different. Then regularly too, guidelines are revised. Today there is what pneumonia today. Every year there is a guideline that they bring out every year to tell us this is current practice. Malaria too, the same thing. As when well, you check it, you see 2019, 2020 guideline on treatment of malaria. There are ongoing researches. Because we know we have not succeeded in treating malaria. Until we are able to get malaria vaccine, that's when we say, okay, we can successfully treat malaria. So today we don't have this. Critical, objective critical modalities, then repetitiveness. I've talked about repetitiveness. I'm going to round up some. I don't have much less. So, what are those things that affect orthodox medicine? Orthodox medicine, some of those things that affect it has to do with policies. You see, orthodox medical practice that is done in the West is different from what we have here. You know, initially there was the RBM, rolled back malaria. You understand what it means. If the Ebola, what they mean is just roll it back to them. That's just, that's just the concept. So all these policies, they are biased. And those are the things that is making us as individuals also doubt that our governments have us in interest or they just want to make money and continue practicing. So these are some of the things. So until those ones are addressed, people will still want to mix or even go for non-evidence-based medical practice. Let me put it like that. So total cost of treatment, at the soil, even the doctor, the CMP, that ended up in India, there are so many other issues about it that I don't have to say to details. But the fact that Allah saved him based on the situation to Shelly, it happened at a time when there was lockdown. You understand the meaning of that? And he ended up in India. Alone, 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 alone. So there was no alone, alone, Nilo, and he's doing very well today. But I have to read that, that one, not to see. So all those things. Efficacy of drug also is part of my alone. There are so many fake drugs about orthodox medical practice, a rogue, a repair position, all those things. And then the fact that I've talked about the placebo effect, that one that I'm talking about, most of 80% of diseases are self limiting. 80%. No sons you know you know once it's about test your um, body work. I repay malaria parasite, you know, yeah, it's a breakdown. So most times, so who put you coincidence now for me that will allow to objective that will allow that we know no bang. Let's get this. So all those things. So what are the limitations of orthodox medical practice? The limitations of some of them box. One, there is the concept of idiopathy. I want it's not it's not what you get pay back up. What is the first cause? Can you cause the idiopathic causes? No, I'm cutting fat. It's still there. That's why they are discoveries are still coming. So with research, there will be now be more discoveries. We don't know what is causing today. What we call glomerulonephritis. That's an infl inflammation of the kidney. Thank you. Tell it, tell it. We call it the void. You when you Air about anything syndrome. Syndrome means we don't know the cause. So it's just a constellation of symptoms. I won't get any head present. So it used to be called nephritic syndrome before. But today we now know it's caused by group A methylmolytic streptococcus, just a microorganism known cause a bacteria. 
non è un cosa, 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 non è un The doctor is asking the patient, and the patient replied, I stopped taking the medicine because I prefer the original disease to the side effects. So these are some of the issues that are, that so another thing, delayed investigation is also another indication. About the calling and the city scan, don't you see? the city abdomen, you see, you the lab take. But they allowed them one to report to Jadi after like three days. And he hasn't been there. So now look at this example now. I have some bad news and some very bad news. That's what the doctor told the patient. The patient now told me, okay, what's the bad news? The doctor said, the lab, the lab called with your results. You have 24 hours to leave. And the patient said, what? 24 hours? That's terrible. What's the, now, okay, now tell me the very bad news. Doctor Nancy, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> okay. At another defense of the 24 hours, I don't know who told you like it. So you could have done something 24 hours and to pay by you. <laughs> so, so some results will be delayed and so on like that. So some follow-ups too. This is also very important. I don't know how to explain them. So the follow-ups of medical orthodox medicine. How are we doing with orthodox practice? Three parties, so there are so many rules now. There are now ethical dilemmas. Hello, me. Oh, I see. Because at we are so much over investigate ourselves. I'm not sure if it's I think check if you don't know yet. And based on that, I realize that this child is going to come out without any pain. I've seen it. If I'm not one, not two. And then carefully. The only thing about that, and then carefully, is the bad You only live to up to like four days. Could you bring? So now, as you know, you cannot terminate pregnancy unless it is the mother that is threatened. So I will now go to see that, okay, I'm on you. She can terminate pregnancy. Those are their dynamics that, that will not come. Because remember, ultrasound or all these investigations, there are so many people that are ultrasound that say that they had an encephalic once it the, the, the brain was intact. And get missing. So based on that, that's why it's not easy to bring out law. Be okay, eh, no, you must you can you, you law law on abortion, that's why there are serious issues about it. So DNA, do not resuscitate. Eto ba jade to ba jade to wa ri pe koni brain. Cha wa ni ke kama on YouTube mi dada. Kama fun lo kini kama fun ogbe. Utanisi atu eni ye ri pe o ti fe ku. Iya isan to ni isu. Isan pe yo ba lo cancer ni ni. Ko yo si. Cha wa ni to. Utanisi a je ka ya bo re ku te de ni. So this things, these are some of the things that have been practiced once she that that box. There are issues there are things then social disorder. I will talk about social disorder too. Can we must open this and only be monitored like this? No, yeah. Now, the other thing is there are spam banks. Somebody will not donate a spam and they keep it. But the, the terrible thing about it is now, any camera in this, or call it, or see to donate a spam, or call it. Yao, oh, okay. Not to fair, not to fair, my auntie or coy. Then you buy out to me, look at a possible. Now she now decides, okay, I want to, she now visited the spam bank. Please let me get the spam of my husband again. Put it in me. I want to give, give back. And how are they, your money? How are money? Now, when it comes to inheritance, who is going to be? Say, oh my, you should inherit it. That's what the Sharia is about. Show my, you should inherit it. Baba, to you cool. To you feel it, to you cool. You know, to conceive. To you feel, oh, oh, cool, no, you're real. Hey, to you cool, to you, to you, to you, to you conceive. So these are 
things that are automatic, they don't need that lack of immune. So all these are some of the fallouts. After the problem, I've listed them because we over-medicate ourselves. Menopause needs that is supposed to be normal. I pay more than one, because you pay more. Let me go in the top. I want to get my remences. All those things. So these are issues. So I'm based on all these problems. <laughs> this is one prayer. By the, there is a popular book by medical space, in the Virgin Center book. In the first part, is a popular prayer that is there. The, these are the editors. The editors of those books, that's by Kathleen and um, Will Drake. So he said that from inability to let well alone, and to that do, Katuma Wanka Milarare, all of from inability to let the well alone, from too much zeal for the new, and content for what is old, very by saying this credit our traditional, from putting knowledge before wisdom, science before us, and cleverness before common sense, from treating patients as cases, cases are in Wuhan, and from making the cure of the disease more grievous than the endurance of the same. Good Lord, deliver us. Because this was written as far back as Nine, oh, okay, sorry, it's 2018. And then this. So, these are things. I won't go into the details about it. So, in summary, the good physician knows his patients true and true, and his knowledge is brought there. Time, sympathy, and understanding must be lavishly dispensed, but the reward is to be found in that personal bond which forms the greatest satisfaction of the practice of medicine. One of the essential qualities of the clinician is interest in humanity. For the secret of the care of the patient is in caring for the patient. That care, that one, is the most important. In conclusion, even though this paper is not in comparison of orthodox to traditional medicine, the fact remains that both practices have useful areas that has always been used synergistically to improve the health practices. While superstitious beliefs and magic still surround a lot of traditional medical practice, the more objective aspects of arts, roots, and some ancient procedures such as copying in German can be improved upon to improve the outcome of such therapies. Proper regulation and training of the practitioners is highly So, this is the last slide. It's just a joy to be the orthodox medical doctor. Telling the vision that I'm going to prescribe an antibiotic. If you are not comfortable, you can imagine with traditional medicine. If you are not comfortable with medical medicine, healing practice, you can put some tweaks, coffee, gizori on your head while you swallow the pills. So you know that at least with the tweak, you are still believing in traditional practice. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam.